outside pole center back, Kenseth having to drop to the rear. Chase Elliott had a choice to make. Did he choose the outside lane with Kyle Busch behind him or choose the inside with his teammate and wingman Dale Earnhardt Jr.? That was the choice. That's the way they come around to complete lap one. It looked pretty obvious to me they had a plan, and boy, did that plan work out perfectly. It made good sense, though, to have your teammate behind you, not beside you, so uh, that was a good move, and uh, they came across the line just like they wanted to. I mean, Chase got a great start, but Jr. got an even better start pushing him right across the line and getting both those cars clear of the outside uh, pole sitter of Kyle Busch. I recall a rookie in 1993 who started on the pole and led the first lap. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it from the second row, <laughs> but uh, he, had, he had some great help there. Boy, uh, I'm so excited about this race. This is amazing. This is going to be an incredible day of racing. Already three wide, two and three rows back. Now right behind the two leaders, single file. Kyle Busch on the outside, Toyota, Joey Logano inside in that yellow Ford. How do the two Chevys in front keep them at bay? Staying hooked up like they are right there. That's one way. But, Mike, this is kind of like the opening play of the Super Bowl. You know, you don't want to fumble the ball. Don't mess it up, boy. This is your chance. Make it, make it count. Well, here's where it gets very interesting. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has been the one out front in all the racing that we've seen this week. He's in second right now, and he's protecting. He's protecting Chase Elliott up there, and this is a 500-mile race, so I totally understand that. But how long is he willing to stay in that second position? Because we all know the leader has such great control when they're out front. I think it's probably, you know, I think Junior's going to lead a couple laps because he's a rookie, and it's good for him, you know, and he's got a lot of confidence from his win yesterday. But that 88 car is going to shoot to the lead pretty quick. Further back, driver's a little impatient like the number four, that black and white Chevrolet of Kevin Harvick, trying to bust his way into the top ten. An incredible decision to make early in the race. Do you go three wide? Yeah, you want to get up further to the front. The further front, uh, back that you are, the dirtier the air is. The, the, the car's not going to drive as good back there. So do you take that risk? Well, Kevin Harvick chose to, and so did Kyle Larson here. Yeah.